a waste management worker, made a gruesome discovery in Stickney, Illinois in 2003. The worker found the bodies of two babies in the front lift bucket of a garbage truck. They passed away due to asphyxiation. Investigators were able to determine that they were placed in a trash bin in an alley in Stickney. Even though investigators made progress, they had no idea who was responsible for leaving the babies in a trash bin. The case soon went cold. Then in 2018, detectives got an idea to make use of DNA technology to try and locate family members of the babies. DNA testing led them to 41-year-old Michigan woman Antoinette Briley, who they believed was the mom. In December 2020, police apprehended her during a traffic stop. It was then as she confessed to the crime. This is what she told investigators. She was 24 years old back then. Antoinette was alone at her grandfather's house when she delivered the babies in a bathtub. The babies were crying and she panicked for several minutes. She then decided to put them in a duffel bag and began driving to a hospital. Along the way, however, she pulled over, removed the babies from the bag and placed them in a trash bin. She then went back to her grandfather's house, disposed of the duffel bag, watched TV and went to bed. Investigators noted that Antoinette has a daughter and made sure that she is safe. This piece of trash is currently held on a $15,000 bond and does not yet have an attorney on record. One year old Ethan Eslick lived in Dundee, New York in 2002. He lived with his brother Jordan, his mom Kelly, and her boyfriend. On August 29th, Kelly found Ethan's lifeless body in their house. She called 911 dispatchers, but it was too late. According to the autopsy, Ethan passed away due to asphyxiation. The police investigated, but no one was arrested, and the case went to cold. Then, in 2018, New leads were developed and county investigators enlisted the resources of New York State Police and the FBI out of Buffalo. By then, criminal justice technology had developed a lot and the Yates County District Attorney's Office enhanced its legal and search warrant applications as well in the case. In March 2019, a phone line was established in connection with the case if anyone had information and wanted to stay anonymous. Ethan's father, James Eslick, put out a public call pleading for clues connected to the case. Finally, in June 2020, a warrant for the arrest of Ethan's mom, 42-year-old Kelly Anderson, was issued by the police. She was arrested without incident in Dundee after her return from Florida. Kelly is being held in the Yates County Jail on $250,000 bail. Since the case is still ongoing, investigators do not yet want to say what specific evidence led to the arrest, and they also did not say what the motive was. If convicted, Kelly faces up to 25 years to life in state prison.